So let's review what is under the different tabs. Software update includes um, your VIN, your mileage, obviously software updates, navigation updates, things like that, and the settings that you would like to receive your software updates. Uh, and that's going to be either the advanced so that you get them earlier or your basic or normal. Um, you have the uh, windshield wiper blades uh, service mode so that it's easy to change the blades. Push that. Adjust headlights. So, headlight leveling in process. So, you can use the left steering wheel to control, and if you watch up here, you can actually see it moving up, which is pretty nice, you have to admit. And what that means is that there's actuators that control these headlights. And so, at the moment, um, the headlights don't move when you take turns like some of the cars do. But I think what this does is this gives them the option to do that. Um, so that would be pretty neat. Uh, there's towing mode. And so what it does, it tells you what to do and what not to do. And then you'd put it in transport mode when you actually need to um to tow you hook up the tow bar in the front you can reset your tpms sensors you can do a factory reset i'm not going to click this stuff you can do wheel configuration this is pretty neat so if you actually buy any of the tesla wheels you can change your wheel type there's the 20 inch performance gunpowder version there's the 20 inch performance the 19 inch sport or, like I have, just the standard 18-inch um, arrow wheels. And what that, do, that will do is it will automatically update not only the look of your car on the screen, but also if you have a larger tire size, it will adjust the, um, I believe it will adjust the, um, the tire pressure warning levels, it says. It will also um, adjust the range estimates. And I would think that it'd have adjust the um, speedometer a little bit too, but it doesn't say anything about that. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you have your owner's manual. Which the entire thing is on here. And as you can see, it's all bookmarked out. So, charging, for example, battery information... And there you go, it's showing the battery information, care, how to care, temperature limits, all that kind of stuff. You can click back, actually let's just click that, oops, um, I'll drop this down there, oh, I'm sorry, I've messed up the maintenance, so you got cleaning, tire and maintenance, care. Um, windshield wiper blades, fluids, jacking and lifting if you need to, parts and accessories even, uh, using the touch screen, how to use autopilot, driving, uh, safety restraints, opening and closing, um, specifications, okay, you've got safety and security, so you have speed limit mode. So I can actually adjust this if I turn this on. And then you actually put in a pin in order to cut it back off. Uh, sentry mode on. I have it excluding work. I just, just turned that on today, actually. So I'm getting too many notifications at work. Joe mode, which keeps the... Um, it makes things a little quieter for all the chimes for autopilot. You can do pin to drive, kind of like your car, your iPhone. You need a pin to do it. Parking assist chime. So actually, um, that I do want. Oh, I'm gonna try those. Right now they're off. 
Actually, I think I just cut those off. You can turn them off over here while you're doing the parking. Cabin overheat is on. What it does is it uh, keeps the battery or the internal temperature um, below 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, um, mobile access. And I'm allowing all my data to be taken. You've got navigation stuff. Here's the navigation volume. You can also adjust it as she's speaking. The trip planner, online routing, automatic navigation to work and home, which I keep on. Um, avoid ferries, avoid tolls if you use the HOV. Um, you have autopilot settings. Cruise follow distance. Auto steer in beta. Speed limit warning gives me a display, not necessarily a chime. Um, I have forward collision warning is medium. And I, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to keep it on medium. Speed limit is relative, not absolute. You can do an offset. I'm not real sure I understand that. I need to look that up a little bit. Lane to port departure, I actually have a system, not a warning. Um, and these are all your other um things like your blind spot when enabled you'll hear a chime when a potential collision is detected or obstacle aware acceleration automatically limits your acceleration if an obstacle is detected in front of you while driving um you have acceleration chill mode which puts in kind of a slow driving standard is say you have the speed I like the sports steering mode, but you can adjust that so that it steers differently. I've not tried these, so I might make a video on those different things. Uh, regenerative braking, I like it on standard. I get more battery um, refill on that, I guess you'd say, or more range. The hold mode is the new mode they just stopped or created, where it's basically one pedal driving. I love that, actually. And then you can put it on slip start, used to free vehicles and stuck in snow, sand, or mud down here at the bottom. Uh, the display, this automatically adjusts, but obviously you can change it. And so you'll see it will start going back up to where it was. Uh, display is in auto, so it changes to night mode, which is what you see now, or day mode. Uh, screen clean mode. So, that's neat. So you can easily clean your screen, and there's no touch. So you press and hold to exit. It's kind of a neat thing, different languages, time format, energy, so this shows distance, which is 220, or do energy, and now it's at 71% battery. Um, distance, you can do kilometers or miles. Temperature, you can do it in Celsius, you see up here, 8 degrees Celsius, or Fahrenheit, 46 degrees Fahrenheit. And tire pressure, you can do bar. Um, it's not showing it. It would typically show it right here, all four tires. It's not showing it for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Okay, locks. So you have our different phones, our keys, and you have two standard car keyed key card. Uh, you could turn child locks on and also lock the windows. You can unlock on park, or you can turn that off, so stay locked. Or you can lock confirmation sound, I like that. And then walk away door locks is when you walk away with your phone in your pocket, it automatically locks. Lights. So, um, you have auto for your headlights and everything. They seem to work great. Same thing, I keep the fog lights on. Dome lights are on auto, so they cut on whenever you get in of the car or whenever you put it in park. Um, open up the doors or anything like that. Um, and it's in ambient light mode. I'm not, I'll have to check that. I'm not sure what that means. I think that's the lights that you see. You probably can't see them. They're down in the floor panels and in the doors. Um, auto high beam is nice feature. Headlights after exit is on so that it light keeps, the headlights stay lit up while you're going to your door. And steering wheel lights, which are, Obviously, these are the buttons and stuff. And then there's quick controls, which is just basically this 
uh, quick stuff such as the lights, uh, adjusting your mirrors, adjusting your steering wheel, which you do with the um, the buttons here to adjust them, and then it saves it to your driver profile. Um, steering wheel you can move it. Uh, adjustments I can actually fold my. Let me do that again. That's me folding them out. So you would actually click that to fold them. Say if you go in a car wash or something like that, you could fold them. Uh, window locks again is on the uh, quick controls and then display as well.